Hello. give me a hug, darling. <laughs> I'm just going to have a little look in your ear and then just gently helping to balance and taking three nice long breaths. Jodie! Hello! Hello. Give Hello. me a hug, darling. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How yeah. are you? I'm really well. And Good. I'm looking forward to giving you a double treatment I know. today. Yeah, so we're doing hoppy ear candling and Reiki. Yeah. I thought we might do the hoppy first. Yeah. And nice. then just chill for the Reiki. Yeah. I um, haven't had Reiki for ages. Have you had it with me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Once, I think, yeah, yeah. but a long time ago. Right, okay. Yeah. And I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients before, mm. but during the Reiki, like towards the start, I'm going to be introducing a few sound chimes. Mm. Okay, nice. Um, which are a little bit ASMR-y, so yeah. that's sort of tingly, yeah, that. tingly feeling. Yeah. Um, and then I might give you a little bit of guidance with the Reiki, but there'll be a lot of silence as well, just yeah. to completely chill and go into your own space. Yeah, that yeah. sounds nice. So with the hoppy, mm -hmm. is there a reason you wanted hoppy? Um, my ears are a little bit blocked at the moment, I think. They just get a little bit itchy sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're quite bad at the moment, actually. It's good timing. Okay, um, so there's no issue with balance or hearing no okay i think so are you just about to take a flight anywhere are you doing no, because of flight? unfortunately no not. <laughs> okay <laughs> no flying but i always do have one when i fly but I, they're just quite bad at the moment okay all right we'll do that and it should improve yeah but before we start i've got out my virtue reality cards yeah, here oh bless you <laughs> if you would like yeah. to delve and have, one. have a, a tune else. into one Resourceful. I find ways to release hidden potential, giving heart to others that solutions can always be found. Ah, oh, I think you are. Yeah. Obviously, being a business owner, you have to find solutions all the time. Yeah, don't you? true. Aren't there problems every day? Yeah, yeah, many. <laughs> Not problems. Yeah. Challenges. Challenges. And opportunities. Yeah. That's a good one, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Do you relate to that? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Definitely. Good. Definitely with work, yeah. Put it on my windowsill. We've had some good ones this week. My client, just in case viewers are watching, actually, because I treated lovely Sky yesterday and I forgot to do the virtue reality card before her treatment, but afterwards that wasn't filmed, she picked magical. Could you read that nice. for me? Because I haven't got my glasses on. I've got well, on my head. <laughs> Simply by believing in possibilities, I turn loss into benefit, the ordinary into extraordinary. Yeah. And she's uh, hopefully Sky's watching this, but she's yeah. a really confident, vibrant oh, young really? lady about your age. Yeah. And uh, bless her, she travelled quite a long way to see me. Yeah. And she'd found me on YouTube. And uh, she's a singer. So oh. she brings that vibrant energy yeah. to yeah. a lot of people's lives, including children and weddings and oh, all okay. sorts. So, um, yeah, she was That's really lovely to, to treat. Yeah. Yeah. Magical. Magical. Yeah. So I'm going to put these away and then give you a lovely hoppy treatment. Thank you. I love the ones that you do that um, with the cupping on the face, the ASMR ones. Mm -hmm. The cupping is so good, you know. Mm -hmm. With these. Yeah. Uh, have I given you that? I have. Yeah, I? I've had that. I, I, I have but given it to you. Videos that sound so good. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, love. Yeah. And then the little ditty. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I treat myself to facial cupping mm. twice a week. I do it on Mondays and Fridays. And then I know, you know, yeah. I'm getting it done twice a week. And I do my decollete and my neck, my jawline. That's why you look so young, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> keep telling you jokes, keep telling me. <laughs> um, and obviously um, lines and yeah. you know, the whole face really. Mm. But 
those cups can be used anywhere on the body. And I don't know if I've shown you before, but there's this one as well. Oh, yeah. Which is, I've been using it quite a lot recently on backs oh, and necks yeah. and like down the whole shoulder from the neck and down oh, the shoulder good, over the trapezius and deltoid. It really helps with a massage and it feels nice. It's not quite as strong as the fire cupping. It's still yeah. cupping yeah. and it gets the blood there. It goes all nice and red, yeah. but it's a little bit softer than fire yeah. cupping. Yeah. So you don't have the marks as much? Um, Funny you should say that, Yeah, but I treated Jez, who everyone knows, my yeah. hubby Jez, yesterday to a bit of a neck release and shoulder uh, like massage, mm. but also the core therapy neck release, and I used that cup. And didn't notice at the time, used the cup. And then this morning I said, oh, you've got a cup mark on your no. back. So it, it is possible, yeah. but maybe I just did it a little bit too strongly on him, thinking, yeah. oh, he yeah, could do it. It's only Jess. <laughs> I'll just go straight in. Yeah. 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 No wonder he oh. was complaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hoppy, if you had an ear that's worse than another, which one would it be? This one. Okay, straight away you knew yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm going to treat the better ear first. So okay. if you would like to turn on to your right hand side. Yeah. I'm going to give you a thicker cushion. Okay. Oh, thank you. So I'd like you to put this into the crook of your neck like yeah. that. Is your hair in the way? Yeah. Lovely. Is that comfy? Yeah. Would you like another pillow between your knees? Yes, please. And then bend your knees so that you're not rolling. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just going to look in your ear with an otoscope, if mm -hmm. that's okay. Just tie my hair back. Your first ear hole is a little bit dry, isn't it? Do you mm. treat it with anything? Um, no, I never take my earrings out really. I think that's why. And are they gold, your yeah. earrings? Yeah. You've got a little bit of a reaction to it. Have you oh, ever really? noticed that? Yeah. No. Do you, so you don't know if you have on the other side? I'll check. Yeah, I have not, a look. not the second piercing, but funnily enough, the, the yeah, first the original piercing. One. Yeah, it, it looks like it's had a bit of a reaction. Really? Yeah. Unless... It doesn't feel itchy or anything. Actually, your earrings are a size, aren't they? They're yeah. not just a little stud. Yeah. So maybe you haven't noticed it because there's quite a size that yeah. you wouldn't see behind. I think occasionally it just needs taking out, you think? properly cleansing like you cleanse your face yeah. and moisturising. That's okay. probably all it needs. Yeah, yeah. just a bit of hydration. Mm. Okay, just turn your head a little bit so your nose is done. That's it. Perfect. As long as you're comfy like that. I'm just going to have a little look in your ear. It looks fairly clear. Yeah, not worried about that. I'm just going to put one drop of rose essential oil in the palm of my hand. Rose is a base note so it comes out nice and slowly. It's taking its time. Mm. 
That's a beautiful colour. And then also one drop of petit grain essential oil. Smells amazing. So this is orange blossom. So we've got two flowers here. Lovely. I'm just going to hold them in front of you just to let you breathe in deeply. So, having lit the hoppy, which is more of a chimney than a candle, because it is hollow all the way down, made up of linen, cotton and beeswax. And I'm just going to place the candle just inside, just using the lobe to make sure the candle is sealed just in the very outside of the ear, making sure you can breathe okay. okay. And then while the candle is in, I'm going to be give, keeping a good eye on the flame because that tells me a lot about the health of the ear and inside, including the sinus membranes and all the channels in the respiratory system connected to the ear. Obviously, the mouth, and down to the lungs, the eyes. So now just very gently using my little finger pad to tune into how the sinuses are feeling whether there's any tightness or restriction. The candle's burning nicely at the moment. It's just a very gentle flame, but it's a nice constant flame. It's not irregular at the moment. There are tiny little crackles. They may get more as the Candle burns down. And there's a nice little gradual squeaking noise coming from the top. It's very low. Oh, little crackles. And then just very gently supporting like a gentle pinch around the brow line, warming and softening the sinus passage just under this area.
Mm, being slightly stronger here under the cheekbone. The zygomatic arch. And constantly listening for the reaction of the candle with each pressure. Because sometimes a particular action can create more of a reaction to the candle. And what I tend to do is come back to that particular spot, give it a little more pressure or more time. And then the jawline. Got some lovely noises happening there. So, hoppy ear candling is an ancient therapy and is used today for an array of issues, not just respiratory. So I've used Hoppy in the past with children and adults for attention at school, for headaches, for insomnia, for neuralgia to the face, for tinnitus, vertigo, for many airs, and for relaxation, which can help with depression and anxiety because there may well be blockage to the respiratory system, to the sinuses, which can cause headaches, to the ear, therefore hearing, which can cause lack of attention, not being able to hear in class. And sometimes children will actually play up in school simply because they don't realise it but they can't hear as well as the other children. So I've helped children with that issue and they've greatly improved in class. And of course the candle is made of linen and cotton, not paper, and so the ash is intact and won't fall down. It's simply one long piece of fabric. Obviously we pay attention and if there was a breeze or an open window and a wind through the room then it might blow off but normally 
it stays intact. And then just treating around the glandular system to the throat and the back of the neck. Feeling into the acupressure points of the occiput. It's a little bit tight just behind the ear. So actually the main line and the second one feel not too bad. But then the one just behind the ear, key acupressure point, is quite tight here. Just giving it some attention there. Lovely. It's softening already. And then we take the candle out just at about that point, about a centimetre above the red line. So I'm just cleaning the very outside into the ear lobe, checking, cleaning out any debris either from the candle or from the ear itself. Then I'll just have another little look with the otoscope. Lovely, even better. You can see that it's had the effect of those essential oils and beeswax. Okay, so nice and gently, if you would like to turn over Jody onto your other side. It's been warming, even though it's Perfect. been a warm day today here. How's it been at work? Yeah, it's actually been hot in the sun. Yeah. It's quite stuffy today, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. I'll just have a little look in your ear first. So, yeah, you're right, there is some wax and debris, but it's actually quite near the surface. Really? Yeah, yeah, there is a blockage there, but I think this will make a difference. So by holding my finger underneath the candle before applying it to the ear, it creates that downward calling for the smoke and the vacuum and that helps the chimney effect of bringing that gentle pressure out and upwards out of the candle. Okay, so applying some pressures again. Quite often one ear can be quite different from the other. We'll see what happens. There's a nice gentle flame at the moment.
and then just gently applying pressure in between the brows under the brow line raising if you like the burden of the eyebrow shelf an area that can produce headaches and stress and then just pinching gently across that brow creating warmth and softness and then under the eye in long lines encouraging outward flow through and away from the sinuses clearing the whole respiratory system a bit tight there, just going to give it another couple of seconds in that place. So the candle is burning nice and evenly, it's staying tall and just coming round to the glandular system, feeling for those acupressure points again, comparing to the other side. And I particularly like checking and clearing the glandular area up and around the ear and behind where the hair doesn't grow. There is a lovely area that's very sensitive to touch and it feels very relaxing and soothing to have this area massaged in this manner and then just tuning in to that acupressure point again That was a good sound. 
a little crackly firework. And twisting to come out. Oh, oh my god. Can you see with your without glasses on? Wow. That was blocking it, that was that. Mm. And the other end. No wonder it was itchy. Mm. <laughs> That's good. But also I think when you shower, um, yeah. if you can take your first piercings out. Don't just Do um, use yeah. your, love, you know, a gentle cleanser from mm. your face on the earlobe, but also into the ear as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, behind's okay, but I think in the lobe mm. needs cleansing occasionally. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, I'm just going to have another look with the otoscope. It could be where the shampoo dries, isn't it? It could be, yeah. Okay, so the the little bit of wax that I said was there is still there. Oh, okay. So I think it may well come out over the next couple of days. Yeah. That's what can happen with hoppy ear candling. Yeah. It just gets it soft and shifted, so it, you you might feel it come out or notice it on the pillow, or you yeah. you might not notice it. Okay. Okay, so um, if you would like to lie on your back, I'm just going to give you a, just a 10 minute scalp massage to finish off. Yeah. Comfy? Yeah. I'll bring your hair out, that's it. Oh yes they are. <laughs> I thought they might be. Thank you.
and just gently start stretching through the body, fingers and toes, moving into shoulders if you feel like it. Breathing deeply and if you want to just extend the arms and have a nice long body stretch. feel nice? Mm, yeah, they do actually. Yeah, good. So I'm going to go straight into a Reiki for you now. So you don't need to move. Good. You can <laughs> stay exactly as you are. Just bring the pillow down a bit further. Yeah. I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients. A few sound chimes. Okay, so take three nice long breaths and the energy that surrounds you. That is felt in years gone by. the foot, but abundantly down to the crown, and then sealing the energy. The, the bright white one in the corner yes. of this eye here. Yes, okay, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Jodie! Hello! Hello. Give Hello. me a hug, darling. <laughs> You good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How yeah. are you? I'm really well. And I'm looking forward to giving you a double treatment I today. I know. Yeah, so we're doing hoppy ear candling and Reiki. Yeah. I thought we might do the hoppy first. Yeah. And then nice. just chill for the Reiki. Yeah. I haven't um, had Reiki for ages. Have you had it with me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Once, I think, yeah, yeah. but a long time ago. Right, okay. Yeah. And I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients before, mm. but during the Reiki, like towards the start, I'm going to be introducing a few sound chimes. Mm. Okay, nice. Um, which are a little bit ASMR y, so yeah. that's sort of tingly, yeah, that. tingly feeling. Yeah. Um, and then I might give you a little bit of guidance with the Reiki, but there'll be a lot of silence as well, just yeah. to completely chill and go into your own space. Yeah, that yeah. sounds nice. Okay, so take three nice long breaths. And just inhale the essential oils of rose and petty grain. Flowers that will help you relax and send you to a beautiful place. I'm just tuning into the energy of the room, my energy, and the energy that surrounds you. activated, I can feel like a 
dynamism, a power. Just feeling into the white light that comes down to the top of your head. It's quite a thick, vibrant white light. I can feel it's quite tangible and palpable today. It has an amazing abundance to it. And this is your energy. This is yours to own and use. Amazing feeling. So at the moment, simply tuning into white light. And there were, may well be a feeling of the, the light in, in the presence of a feeling that touches the crown of the head, down the sides of the face, across the shoulders, down the arms, maybe even into the palms. And it may, may be felt like a tingling sensation. And the white light continues down the throat, across the chest, and down the torso, down the back and spine, and it is felt in every cell, deeply into the body, and continues around the hips, down the legs, knees, shins and calves, ankles, feet and soles, all the way to the toes. White light now covering, embodying and fulfilling the whole body. It is felt like a gentleness and yet very present. Feeling into Reiki at an emotional level. Feelings, emotions, happiness, and colours may come. Behind closed eyelids. It may be felt to 
the sides of the head, into the throat, into the ears. There may be a warmth and a softening, creating a flow of gentle energy. Now introducing some beautiful chimes. These are the chimes of fire and air. These are the chimes of earth and water.
and all of the energies of the earth, the air, water and fire are now balanced and creating harmony within and around. Feeling a wonderful tranquility in the organs of the heart, kidneys, liver, spleen, lungs and also to the brain. A wonderful tranquility. where the organs and brain instigate a feeling of relaxation deeply, deeply letting go becoming heavy and succumbing to a profound healing Reiki. distant Reiki that is felt in years gone by, in present times and in future years. It is also felt wherever you may be at any time that you can tune into this sense of Reiki and healing whenever you want to. Just tuning into the Vishuddhi Chakra the chakra of the throat, of blue dust, blue colour, of water, freedom, breath. And the breath enjoys a deeper sensation where the conscious level is able to succumb and the unconscious wealth of availability opens up during Reiki to reveal so much more consciousness. There is a wealth of deeper meaning to one 
self that is available in this subconsciousness. Opening the throat to freedom. And tuning into the heart chakra at Anahata. Feeling the heart open. Become warm, receptive, able to receive love. and to give. Giving more and more power to the Reiki where it's needed. Feeling the warmth Massaging the aura. And now down to Manipura, the solar plexus chakra. Which is feeling open and just starting to warm. Quite often there'll be chakras that need a little extra attention in order that all seven are balanced, working together in harmony. And of course, the solar plexus is an abundant sunshine yellow. That's better. Tuning into that feeling of coming home, feeling blessed within oneself, content just to be. Feeling into sacral chakra, bright orange around the hips and lower abdomen.
through the hips to give the area a little warmth. Linking, connecting with the sacral chakra. Connecting with the inner child of laughter and fun. Smiles, spontaneity, allowing the body to feel that contact. The inner child is reaching out. Telling you it's all okay. They're guiding you, holding your hand as if it's yourself at an early age. Wrapping a warm, woolly, orange scarf around the hips and abdomen to help connect the inner child and that sense of frivolity, gregariousness and fun. And connecting now to the base chakra, Muladhara, also called the root chakra because it's found at our root, at the base of the torso, underneath us. It's the source of life, the source of our energy, the source of how we started. Beautiful red energy of fire, warmth, determination, resilience and strength. Massaging into the chakra, warming, giving it some tweena. Just gently touching near the base, tuning into the source of life. Just touching into the legs, feeling where the energy is coming down the legs from the torso, extending the harmony and balance that Reiki gives us.
bringing the energy further down the body, down the right side. Really feeling that warmth and energy as it comes down all the way through the shin and calf. the souls of the feet, calling the energy all the way down from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. The whole body and all of its aura is bathed in the most glorious light. Colours may be seen behind closed eyelids. There may be a sense of a white light and then merging within the white light. There may be several separated colours, perhaps of magenta, of indigo and purple. of blue, green, yellow, orange and red. the ankle of the shin and calf to the left knee there is felt a tingling vibration of a profound energy making its way from the body all the way to the foot. healing as it travels, creating harmony and balance. And from the knee to the thigh 
on the hip. So that the whole body is now doused with the most beautiful white light. with the Reiki it is quite strong under my hands the leg feeling particularly warm back up to the chakras, tuning into again the root chakra, red energy of survival, strength, it's feeling good. that sacral chakra once again Svadistan bright orange wonderful harmonizing connecting with that beautiful little girl the inner child Now, once again at Manipura, yellow solar plexus, deeply connecting to a sense of joy, a sense of self. Just at that upper abdomen area above the navel sometimes the area can feel quite tight and constrained but at the moment it feels soft At the moment it feels soft and calm. And into Anahata Chakra. A beautiful green energy that is felt deep within us in the chest. love.
And now back to Vishuddhi, throat chakra, a blue energy of freedom. Feeling that cooling movement of breath as the inhale goes down through the throat and the warmed energy as the exhale comes out past the throat and out of the nostrils clearing, cooling and warming Beautiful feeling there. Hmm. There's quite a lot of energy here. Hmm. It's quite high. And back to third eye chakra, the Ajna, just in the forehead, deep within and in front. It can be seen as a purple or indigo colour, connecting us with our intuition. clairvoyance, our mentality and that sense of knowing that we just know things deep in our consciousness. Mm. Really strong pull like a magnetizing sensation coming down to the ashna. Just feel a need to put a crystal to the ashna. It might feel a little cool. Rested on Ashna. That's really helped. Helping to calm the mind. Coming back to a deeper level of consciousness. Affirming to oneself, I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. And back to Sahasra, the crown chakra. Tuning into the white light that is abundantly coming down in a gentle manner, but abundantly down to the crown, around the body and through. Amazing energy. Really tingling. Now coming back to the root chakra for the last time to tune in, make sure all is well before I semi-close the door to the chakra 
That's good. That's good. Now to the sacral chakra, feeling what the energy is telling me. It's all good. It's a lot calmer. It's in tune and in harmony. Giving it a final boost of energy and half closing. Now to the solar plexus chakra Manipura. Much love to the to Vishudi. Tuning in, feeling that warmth again, equalizing the energy balance. That's good, that's good. And back to Ashna third eye, purple light. Big here. There's a lot of energy moving. Gorgeous white, white light. It's palpable. Just helping to balance, finalize, calming, calming. That's good. And then sealing the energy, holding the energy in underneath, above, to the sides, below, and on top. All is held, ready for a beautiful rest of the week. Oh, I'm eternally grateful to the Reiki guides and angels. Thank you for the energy. Thank you to the universe. To Mother Earth.
keeping your eyes closed and taking three nice long breaths. And slowly sending your breath to your feet and your fingers and gently moving, stretching through the fingers and the feet and then turning into the ankles and the wrists, maybe into the shoulders moving into the body and if you feel like it bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch mm. opening your eyes if you feel like it maybe not I'll just move the stone Oh, that's warm. How are you feeling? Very chilled. Yeah. Mm. Did you have any sensations during the Reiki? Um, no, I definitely switched off. When you were talking about the light here, I did see the white light there. Oh. The, the bright white one in the corner. Yeah. Of this eye here. Yes. Okay. That's really good. Um but yeah, I did switch off, definitely. I think you probably needed to. Mm. I could feel quite a lot of activity. Yeah. At particular places. Mm. So, um your third eye here, which of course is the brain as well, it's our thinking was quite busy understandably but it really calmed and what really helped was the crystal oh that yeah i did feel a difference when you put that on yeah yeah it was like pressing a button mm. just like a dimmer switch yeah it was good it was the brain. good and i just felt this need it was like you were telling me, I mm. think I need something there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and when I was talking about connecting with the inner child, were you aware at that point? I don't think so. No. Okay. No. That's good. That's all right. Because mm. in that case, I was talking to your subconsciousness. Mm. I was definitely switched off then. Lovely. You're making little movements, and I think you do that when you've switched off. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm, it's good. It's, it's a compliment. So do you feel ready? Are you driving a long way now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you feeling okay to drive? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. You feel ready to move? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I'll just take the cover off. Would you like a glass of water? Um, yes, please. Yeah. Oh. Nice socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs>